Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Today we're down at my friend Doug's place uh, where he does vehicle storage like I do. We're with Matt, best of show coach works. Let's go through like all what it is. So this is a 1965 Mustang Fastback. Originally a plain Jane car. I actually bought it from a friend of mine. It was sitting in the back of Best of Show before I was the owner. Just a rusted out shell, so. Oh really? Got it for five grand. Like no engine and trans or oh, anything? Oh, no engine, no transmission. It still had some paint on it, and after it got sandblasted, you know, there was almost nothing left of it. So I sat on it for about a year and then kind of came up with a plan for it because I wanted to build something that was a pro touring car. So we've got a 2011 Boss 302 motor. Literally just got this thing as soon as they were available. And it's fit into uh, Detroit Speed's aluminum, like Aluma frame, K-member, you know, double A arm front suspension. We upgraded the motor with a set of Ford Racing cams, triangle oil pump gears, Detroit Speed long tube headers, and an intake manifold. So pretty much everything on here is like either a Ford Racing or OEM quality part. So it's mm -hmm. got like factory drivability. You can just let the clutch out, the car just drives itself forwards. It's smooth, it's reliable, like, yeah. you know, it's not peaky. It doesn't really even feel that much like a modified engine, but mm. it likes to rev and it feels pretty rowdy. So it's, yeah. it's a fun little package. It's somewhere around 550 at the crank, I think. Mm -hmm. So it gets up and goes. Yeah. It's not too much for the car, it's just about right. What transmission do you run with the car? So this uses a GT500 TR6060 six speed with a spec clutch and aluminum flywheel in it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's smooth shifting all the way up to 8,000 RPM. It revs up to 8,000, yeah. huh? All day, every day. Wow. And I love that you're using DSE. I mean, they're the quality, the hydroform, the, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's got a cast aluminum K-member. Like, nobody else is yeah. doing that. All right, so now since we've gotten onto suspension, what the hell did you do back here? So the rear suspension is a torque arm. It's been through various kind of design iterations and everything over the years. It came from like Mike Meyer and it's his original design with cantilevered shocks. Okay. And when he kind of drew up this suspension, he didn't think that there was enough room to package a long enough shock with a good, call it like motion ratio for, you know, controlling the wheels. So he figured the best thing to do would be to put them in the back seat. I mean, for one, just the physical look of it is awesome, right? I mean, don't you, Oh, like you've got to get compliments all the time on this and questions all the time. Yeah, it gets a wow factor and it's the, well, what is this? Like, is it an mm -hmm. independent rear suspension? Is mm -hmm. it a stick axle? Like nobody really knows. And yeah. To be honest, I don't think anybody really gets past the fact that the shocks are in the back seat. Yeah. And what, did you go, is it a square setup on tires? It is. So. I usually run a little bit of stagger in it, and it, it always kind of depends on tire size and how we're tuning and balancing the car, but okay. it's got 18 by 11 wheels, and right now it's running uh, 295 Yokohama AO52s, like okay. square. Okay, and what do you run in wheels? These, so these are Forge Line uh, GZ3 wheels. Oh, and you're using StopTech brakes. Yeah which is a great break that we almost never see. Yeah, so it, this has like a mishmash of components. The calipers are all stop tech. It uses their six piston trophy kit in the front and four pistons in the back. Mm -hmm. And then the pedal setup is from Willwood. So it, it uses a balance bar and it has individual master cylinders for the front and rear brakes. Bitchin'. So you can adjust your bias as well then? Exactly, you can adjust yeah. bias and pedal feel by and sizing things differently. Yes, it's manual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The whole car's wider, isn't it, than a stock Mustang? Yeah, it's about four and a half inches wider than stock. And then the center exit is just pure bitching on this car, I think. And that was really just done for sound. It used to have like side pipes and it was way too loud. So you oh. take it to a racetrack, like, you know, you're getting booted for sound. Because now it's, the truth is when you start the car at idle, it's, you know, you can hear it, it rumbles. Yeah. 
but until you get on it, it's a fairly quiet car, actually. It's yeah, not, it's, it's not obnoxious. In the it's slightest. got a really mellow, like new idle to it. It's, yeah. it's not lopy, it's pretty smooth. Like, totally. It's kind of unassuming. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, man. All right, here comes the fun part. I'm always a big interior guy because, you know, where do we spend most of our time yeah. with our cars is in the interior. What are, what are your seats here? Because these look like they're comfy but bolstered. So the seats came out of a wreck 2005 Ford GT. I actually yes. bought the seats before I had the car. So they came up for sale and I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to put these in, but I but should I get them have right now. These for sure. And what are, the, what are these gauges? So the gauges are from Speed Hut. You can just tell them the exact font you want, like whatever oh, design really? that you want, they will draw up, you know. So you get to design your gauges. Exactly. Send you a rendering, you know, you can make tweaks on it, sign off, and like two weeks later, your gauges will show up. And then the cage, did is that is that something you built or? or yeah, a... it's, a, it's just a simple five-point cage that we built to try and stiffen the chassis up a little bit. One of my favorite elements about your car is it looks like it's a driver car. It doesn't look like a show car. It doesn't look like you need to trailer it around. Like it looks like a car that was meant to be turn the key and drive the car. Well, we're going to do the part that I've been really looking forward to, which is going for a drive. I'm, I'm like dying to see what is this thing like to be in. Oh, absolutely. So I think you'll like it. We're going to go for a drive, you guys. Before we go for a drive, today's episode is being brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. With materials like carbon fiber, titanium, aluminum, high quality materials, it's a good chance this is the last wallet you're ever going to need. Let's go for a drive. It's stiff. It's really Your stiff. Your car's stiff. But it makes sense, I mean, you're yeah. tracking it, you'd want it to be stiff. What's the gearing on the rear end? Uh, it's got 430 gears in the back of it. So you're super low gearing. Yeah, but the motor revs to 8,000, so it's not a big deal. Wow, dude, you, this car is seriously peppy, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, uh, what did you say the horsepower is? I think it's five. 50-ish at the crank. Man, it just like, God, it, dude, your car is bitching. I'm in love. <laughs> Not cool to fall in love with another man's <laughs> car, but your car is bitching. I mean, I love the way everything's set up. I, I really do. This is... probably faster, quieter, rides a lot smoother, and it, it'll throw down like a really, really fast lap time on a track, but this is more fun. Really? You will always feel faster driving this, and you will have more fun driving this. Really? But it's a slower car. Interesting. His car, yeah, it is. All steel? Do you mind if yeah. I actually like just a couple questions? Because yeah, yeah. It makes me feel alive again. Uh, all steel? Yeah. What size motor? Uh, it's got a five liter. What is it? It's got a five liter Boss motor in it. Really? Yeah. Uh, what size tranny? Uh, it's a TR6060 six speed. Gears? 430s. You, you race this motherfucker? Yeah. I got a 49 Chevy all steel. <laughs> 
Pro Street. Nice. Three to three stroker. I'm putting cool. HEI. Macaluso, retired Marine. Oh, Ura! Oh. Devil Duck! <laughs> Absolutely love this Mustang that our friend Matt built. Here's a few more Mustangs for you to check out as we say goodbye and thanks for hanging and watching what we do, you guys. See you in the next one. Later.